Aha! I've spotted you, the lesser spotted Facebook, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook viewer. <laughs> Hello there. This is uh, who am I? Bill Space Oddity, uh, well-known bird watcher and bird boar, with my little companion whose hat has just gone round 180 degrees after all the careful preparation just before we started the show. This is David Bowowi. That's the Space Oddity link. I know it's a little bit of a tenuous link, but never mind. Now look at that beautiful hat that I've made for Toki to disguise him in the world of the birds. He will never be seen by the birds because he is disguised as a small bird's nest. Oh, Tokers, you little rascal. Let me see if I can just get this to stay on him because it's a beautiful piece of artwork. There we go. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Well done. Good dog. Good dog. Now, got an exciting show for you, even though it doesn't look like it, because I know that bird watching isn't really that exciting. But we have got some. We've got some hot birds for you today in the show, <laughs> ladies and gents. Here's one of them here, which was supposed to. It was until just before I started. It all goes horribly wrong before I started. It was attached up here. I'll see if I can perch it there. There, I've perched it. Oh God. It's dead. Sorry, that that's dead. Uh, anyway, we will use this. We'll use this later as a as a prop in uh, a song or something. Yes, we got songs and everything coming up. Hello, my name, of course, is Sandy Breakin. If you're wondering what the hell you're watching, uh, if you're wondering how on earth this has survived all, <laughs> all of the summer and now we're into autumn. God, yes, it's autumn watch. Autumn watch with Bill Oddity. And uh, yeah, six months I've been doing this show. Right? God, you would have thought I'd run out of silly ideas, but no, there seems to be plenty of them. Look at this guy, by the way. He is slightly dead as well. Well, that is the kind of sellotape that you just can't trust you. You should buy the you should buy the branded stuff, not the cheap stuff. Never mind, never mind. This one's doing okay. He's got a little he's got a little clip on his foot. Don't worry, it's not a real one. Don't call the RSPCA or RSPPB. Sorry, because this is not a real. None of these are real. And the only thing that's suffering is Toki, and he is going to get a little reward for his suffering because I have sneaked some of his little mini bones onto my desk here and. His owner has not looked, so he may actually get a snack for the first time in two months from me because he's been banned from snacks because he's getting too chubby. Right, very on with the show. Welcome to uh, Sandy on Sunday quarantine gigs, and I'm going to. It's all about birds today, ornithology. Yeah, and I'm actually going to start with a tune. Where's my accordion? Called the ornithologist. Yeah, that's the other thing that went wrong. Is uh, I had my little uh, uh, binocular case. This is from my father via my son who given the this pair of ancient binoculars to him as a as a family legacy and uh, it's, it's just fallen off it's the, it's the weather's all rotted. rubbish anyway I tried my best I tried my best here it is a wonderful tune to start off the whole proceedings called the ornithologist now these binoculars are getting right in the way aren't they oh jeez why is my thing in life easy I'm gonna make sure I get Toki's wee sad face in there I want to see the torture. I want you all to see the torture in his face, the torture that he goes through every week for you guys out there in TV land. Okay, it's a wonderful tune by Freeland Barber, who's a great accordionist. He, was, when I was very young, lent me one of his external microphones when I couldn't afford such a thing and uh, for a gig. And uh, he, he's very kind. He's always been very good to me. Great composer. He's got my two massive volumes of his own tunes. I think I've played some of his tunes in the show before. I've never played this one before. In fact, I've never played this tune before. Uh, so I'll try not kill it. It's called The Ornithologist and it's a great, jolly little two-step. Is there an intro? Oh God, no, I'm just going to go straight for it. The Ornithologist, here we go. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
too far away from the music. Supposed to, I was, my little bird uh, feeder was supposed to be swinging along there, but it wasn't really working. And you know what? I need to lower the seat to get more my, my bird feeder contraption in the picture. There we go. Uh, now, I've had some, some great success this week with the... I've had some great success this week with uh, the moustache, the uh, goatee. I've got a Bill Oddity goatee. I don't know if that's Bill Oddity's accent. It's not really, is it? Uh, I, should have, I should have researched that. Anyway. Look at this, never mind the all-purpose clear glue that um, burnt my skin and the massage fell off the other week. No, last week. Yoo-hoo, whoops. You oh, yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo, oh, something that actually reads the correct way on my back to front screen, wow. I must always use um, things that are palindromes when I'm holding stuff up the screen. That's amazing. Yes, yoo-hoo, finally. A glue that works, but doesn't burn too much on the skin. <laughs> Let's see if it lasts the whole show today um <clears throat> oh yeah oh i could eat that oh, oh i could definitely eat that oh yeah delicious right we'll give you some back later now don't tell his mother but i have got the mini mix oh ho, 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 ho. yes tiny little bones let's just take one out just to get him in the mood look at that tiny little bone it's tiny but it's tasty it's full of tiny little t oh my god he's got a grip of it i'm not gonna be able to hold on oh he's that's his first snack for two months do not tell Alabama his mummy, or I will be in deep doo doo. Yeah. Okay. Now I also have the lucky doggy, a half rotten banana, because believe it or not, he loves them. Yes! I love the rotten bananas. Where's your hat, Doggy? I, I spent an hour this morning making this hat for you. Could you just put it on, please, like a good doggy? Please, just for another couple of minutes, just so that the, the viewers can get a little bit of doggy action. There we go. I know. I know you hate me. I'll give you a snack later. There we go. That's good. That looks, that looks nice. Looks nice. Looks nice, folks, doesn't he? Yeah. He looks like a little bush. <laughs> it's a rob oh, God. The camera's gone wobbly. This has never happened before. Oh, no. Right. I'm going to have to do this show squint. Wait a minute. I'm going to try this. Sorry, folks. This is shockingly unprofessional. I'm going to have a word with it camera team as soon as the show's over okay what's next uh oh we've got some reels for you this is a, a tune called the bird's nest yes the bird's nest there it is look at his little nest he's got a little robin nesting on his head oh uh you're a good boy you're a very patient boy and uh it's a wonderful little tune the bird's nest and that's followed by jenny's chickens uh, i don't know if it's any written for any jenny in particular but if your name is jenny out there, and you have chip kit if you haven't had chickens, this one's specially for you. Right, the bird's nest first. Oh, by the way, it's really hard to play in these, yeah. This is the kind of thing I have to, or I used to have to do it. Hogbunny Hog has been cancelled this year, as I've moaned about on a previous show, but that's fine. It's hard to be safe uh, with the virus, of course. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, normally this is one of my vain attempts to try and keep some feeling in the fingers at uh, the freezing outdoor gigs at Hogbunny and uh, part of Edinburgh's Hogbunny that I usually do. Uh, usually a giant Cayley underneath the castle. It's called Cayley under the castle, surprisingly. About 3,000 people dancing. Crazy idea. Not happening this year. Anyway, these and little hand warmer packs that I stick up here are actually my only saviour. Anyway, today it's absolutely boiling in here as usual. The sun's been blazing in all morning. And uh, I've been wearing this uh, for a board from my dad. It's a, a sleeveless uh, jacket. I would never, ever wear one in public, but um, it's, it's perfect for the bird show. But God, it's surprisingly warm, even without the sleeves. Wow, I've been roasting in here. He's roasting because he's covered in fur. Uh, anyway, oh, here comes his mum. I just, just spotted her in the CCTV and my bird feeder's fallen off. Never mind. Better hide the little snacks. Excuse me just a minute. Anyway, I was talking about these. Yeah, so it's very hard to play them, but because it's part of the show here, I'm doing it. I'm doing this for you. Anyway, back to the bird's nest. Oh, 
distracted there by my co-host wandering off in the middle of a set and the bird feeder has dropped it's dropped the weight of the bird the birds ate all the nuts and it's become so heavy that it's ripped the bird feeder off its stand so i'm just going to place that here oh no right i'll place it somewhere over here uh, uh just another quick action shot of the flying Robin, boop, 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 boop. there we go, we've got all sorts of wildlife in the show, and he's back, he's back, oh I can eat that, oh yeah, oh that's delicious, oh polystyrene, I love that, oh fake feathers, oh look, he's got, oh tasty, go on, eat it, yeah, oh he's, he's, he's eating it, give me that, give me that, he's so right, okay, so I'm going to have to open a can of, oh I can eat, oh I can drink that, mango juice, oh I love that mango, oh yeah, I'm going to have to actually have some of this to cool down, because it's absolutely roasting in here, god, why on earth did I put in double glazing? I don't know, it's a crazy idea. It's supposed to keep you cool in summer. It doesn't. It keeps you warm in winter and boiling in summer. Anyway, shouldn't complain. One of the few houses in this street that does have it. Uh, it was actually here before I came here. I didn't put it in. I wouldn't know how to. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the uh, this beard actually, I was trying it on earlier for the, the photo that I put up for the advert of the show, as I usually do uh, this morning, two hours ago. And I stuck it on for the first time with the old Yoohoo. Could get a bit of advertising here from the you who maybe have failed in everybody else that's I've tried to get advertising from whiskey rum accordion manufacturer <laughs> fancy dress outfitters no but maybe you who will be the one that sponsors <gasps> oh i can eat my, i know delicious delicious you want a sniff don't you but you're not getting you're not getting a sniff clue no that's bad that's bad it's bad for humans and it's bad for dogs anyway i stuck this on this morning and i thought it stuck so well i might as well just keep it on and of course, I got a delivery from uh, Amazon. In fact, it was these little mini binoculars, which Toki was wearing until like a minute ago. But I'll see if I can get them back on them. And children's binoculars, yes, they arrived. Prime, Prime did the business today. Here we go. Come here, come up here, come up. Look, look, banana. Look, oh yeah, oh yeah, banana, banana. Look, look, he's got his foot. Oh, wait, look, look, look. I'm looking at the banana. It's a giant banana. Come here, Toki. Toki, Toki. Oh, silly Toki. Right, there he is. Look, he's looking at the giant banana with his little, his binoculars. Oh, God. If only I had opposable thumbs, everything would be so much easier. Anyway, yes, you'll get a bit of this banana if you're a good boy. So, yes, yeah, he came to the door and I was dressed like this. And uh, so it was very embarrassing. Anyway, also, I was eating porridge with... Um, Fruits, fruit, fr uh, frozen fruit mushed up in it, which my delightful lodger in Alabama, his mother, his, his human mother, uh, made, and she gave some to me even. She's so, she's so kind and generous. And I tried to eat it through here, and I ended up getting pink porridge all over all around it. So it was a disaster. So if you're at home, folks, don't try these crazy things at home. Kids, don't don't eat pink porridge through a pretend mask, and certainly don't try and glue it on using you or anything else. Leave it to the professionals like me. Uh, now, what's next? We have, oh, we've got some nice jigs. This is a jig called the, the Curlew, uh, which is a kind of bird, of course. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Uh, it's not a kind of curly moustache, no, it's a Curlew. You get them in Scotchland, yes, on the beach. And uh, we have seagull. You get seagulls everywhere. You get seagulls right out here. They, um, they, they love my car. My car is black and they seem to like the way the, the white uh, birdie poo poo uh, sp splats nicely all over the black every day I have a fresh pattern uh, so and, and I'm not that next to the coast here I'm in the middle of the city up at Cove Cross at Edinburgh that is for those of you that are wondering where on earth this is being broadcast from uh, yeah uh, so the seagulls they know they come they come deep in land in the search of fried chips you see and uh, the Lark in the Morning, it's the last tune, so three birdie tunes, the Curlew, the Seagull, and the Lark. Oh, we're having a Lark, aren't we, Toki? Can you come and sit over here, please, so the audience can see you? Come and sit here, come and sit here, come on. Come on, you don't get paid in one tiny bone a week for doing nothing. 
Yeah, that's a good boy. You sit there. Let's let all the audience enjoy your wee cheeky face and your wee binoculars. Yeah, let's see if you can see any bones. Can you see any bones? No. Right. Okay. The uh, what was the first one? Curly. Oh God. Oh yeah. I just remember. I thought I'd forgotten it, but no, it's okay. Panic over. Somebody at the window. Good grief! I'm not sure I organised anything this week. Let's see who it is. <coughs> Woof! There's somebody out there, Tucky. Let's <coughs> go and see who it is. Wait a minute, let me get this heavy accordion off. Oh, okay, I didn't get all the way through that set, by the way, folks, so I'll come back to that later. Oh my god! There's somebody out there! It's another bird watcher! I've never opened this window for the show before. Let's just see if it works. Well, Toki, who is that? Look, it's somebody in total camouflage. I think that that is a, is, I think that is a fiddle player disguised as a bush. And uh, oh, she just won't take those glasses away. <laughs> These are a matching pair of binoculars for mine. These are very ancient, like yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the fantastic Julia Dickman, who may or may not have been a guest on the show before. You won't be able to tell because she was just totally disguised and wrapped up in a mask last time, which was a few months ago. Anyway, here she is again. And of course, you are allowed in the house now, but I prefer to keep my musician friends at a safe distance these days, so I'm not letting any of them inside. You're welcome to come inside for a tea afterwards, by the way. Okay, I left the door open. You. Now, uh, I've, I've just realised I've, I've forgotten to practice the tune that you wrote, which oh. you wrote specially for the show. But do tell us about it, and then you can play it on your own, hopefully. <laughs> Shush! Bad boy. Okay, well, um, it still hasn't got a name. This is a, a tune that I wrote, and it still hasn't got a name, and I thought perhaps maybe viewers at home might want to give it a name. Oh, if, if the viewer at home could oh, give it a name. Okay. Possibly bird related. Bird related. Yeah. Not percolated. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, this poor little baby chicken has fallen from its nest above. Oh dear. Oh, I can eat that. Oh, I can eat that chicken. Oh, kill, kill. Wow, his wild instincts are coming into play. Look at that. Wrestling the chicken. Wow, quick, run for your life, baby chicken, run for your life. The wolf dog is after you. Oh, too late. He's got the, he's got the chicken. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yes, maybe uh, maybe your viewer at home can uh, come up with a name for this. Possibly bird related, maybe bird not. Related. Um, but it has to be clean and sensible. Clean, okay. Right. I, okay. I, I seriously forgot to look at it. Um, could, you, could you play it on your own? <laughs> <laughs> this is, Julia's just written this this week, seriously. Okay, Fantastic. Anna, Julia Dignan, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. My hat might fall off. Oh that God, my, my bird feeder's too. already fallen off. It's been a disaster. All right. And, and, the, and the binoculars case fell apart. <laughs> just can't trust that 100 year old leather, can you? Absolutely. I thought they made things better in the old days. Okay. Anyway, get on with it. <laughs> He's loving this chicken. Mm. Thank you. 
Oops. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, what a triumphant cock and doodle do at the end of it. Thank you so much. Look at the little doggies, little doggies. Hello, little doggies. Uh, that was, thank you so much, Julia. That was You're wonderful. Right uh, so if we could get a name for Julia's tune, she'd be delighted. I mentioned that a beautiful tune. I was supposed to play along with her, and I seriously forgot, because I was <laughs> Mr. Lastminute.com as usual. Never mind. Um, we have got more bird tunes coming up. I, I think I left the, both doors open if you want to. Uh, Come okay. in, but, but yep. uh, Alabama's back now. If you want, knock on the door if she's locked it behind okay. her. We're going to carry on with the show. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Wow, wasn't that exciting, ladies and gentlemen? Now, this, this very expensive um, phone holder has gone all wobbly, so I'm afraid I just have to do my best with it. But it's there, that'll do. Uh, wow, that was great. I didn't probably know how to visit the window for ages. That was fantastic. Julie's going to come and have a wee cup of tea with me afterwards because tea's her favourite drink. In fact, somewhere up here we have her album. Here it is, the Tea Wifey. I know I have mentioned this before, but there is Julia with a giant fiddle behind her. The Tea Wifey, this is available from Breakin' All Records, uh, which you can easily find if you just type in my name, Sandy Breakin' comes up. And on the back is a picture of her in a tea chest upside down with her legs in the air. Wearing roller skates because she is actually a keen roller skater and she had a tragic roller skating accident at the roller park in Sight Hill a couple of years ago just before she was about to record this. Oh my god, keep that chicken under control! He's going mad for this chicken. Look! Look at that! Oh my god, I'm eating it! It's delicious! I didn't know soft toys could be so tasty. Ah, sorry. Keep grabbing that with the wrong hand. Look, he's, he's devouring that poor little chicken. Actually, that's a turkey. It's a turkey and I'm going to play a tune. Right now, in honour of the, the dead poor little turkey called Turkey in the Straw. And I just give it a little bit higher. There we go. Turkey in the Straw. Yeah, that's delicious. Mm. <laughs> this is the best show ever, he's saying. <laughs> it's not one of my best, frankly. Whoops. fingerless gloves myself, I might take them off in a minute. for 30 years and I kept getting the first bit wrong. What was it? Something about that. Oh well, it's rubbish tune anyway. Uh, he is actually devouring, <laughs> devouring this poor little turkey. Its head's just about off poor. I hope it wasn't one of uh, Julia's children's uh, valued, most valued cuddly toys because it's going to come back in about three or four bits and one of them will have passed through its small dog's intestine first. Uh, okay, I never carried on with, I never got to the end of my uh, set which had the seagull and the lark in the morning in it. So I'm going to play them now as well because I know that some of you were desperate to hear how these tunes turned out. Here's the seagull. Oh, I forgot to take off the gloves. I just have to cope as best as I can.
nothing more comfortable than being middle-aged and wearing socks and sandals. Yes! Yes! The turkey thinks so too. Oh, it's just so liberating, liberating. Well, that was a seagull. Uh, I just thought I'd have a quick break before I went into the lark in the morning. And here it comes, the lark in the morning. <laughs> Probably, well, it wasn't brilliant, but it went better than most of the things I try and do in the show, so that's pretty good. Now, it's something very exciting. I know how uh, you look. Uh, you all look forward every week to be singing or massacring a song, and boy, I've got a cracker for you this week. Never heard it before. I found it on the internet. It's from 1960s by a wonderful American chap. Well, I think he's American. It could be Canadian. Called Tom Lehrer, and uh, this song is just so appropriate. It's called Poisoning Pigeons in the Park. And I'd like you to all sing it along with me. Yeah, we're poisoning pigeons in the park. We're eating turkey, turkey on the sofa, and I'm poisoning pigeons in the park. Here we go. <clears throat> this is another debut for me. Yes, I never sung this song in my life. Never even heard of it until this week. Uh, uh, what key are we in? C, right? Okay. <laughs> That's a lovely little song. You can see a much better version of that on YouTube if you Google Poisoning the Pigeons in the Park by Tom Lehrer. That's L-E-H-R-E-R. Uh-oh. 
coming loose at the bottom, but still holding on at the top. That was a wonderful song, Fighting Pigeons in the Park. That was lovely. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Now, can you see any pigeons? Have a little look. Have a look for some pigeons. Uh, oh, what have we got here? What? Oh, look at this. We've got a rotten banana. Let's, leave, let's feed a tiny bit of rotten banana to the doggy live on television. <gasps> Oh, you're so lucky. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna have a bit as well. Eating mm. mm. a raw banana through a, la through a genuine fake, fake hole. What do you call that? Uh, what moustache? Goatee. Goatee. Right, he's getting very excited with all the mixed days. He's eating a small, cuddly toy, tiny bone, and piece of banana. Wow. What's next? Mm. We are going to do The Duck. This is a great tune. the duck we have got oh there it is the geese in the bog yes geese in the bog and there is a goose oh can you eat that ah, ah, ah. wait a minute there is a goose sound no go honk 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 look look delicious mm, mm, yes well he doesn't like geese as much as soft turkey yeah soft cubby toy turkey look at this oh my god it's been decapitated and it's had its leg chewed off <laughs> I'm so sorry, little turkey. Mm. I could, and I will, and I have eaten that. Yes, he is a monster, a monster in lamb's clothing. Okay, what's going to be next? Oh yeah, geese in the bog. <laughs> Sweet, that was very good. Now, I keep forgetting to take these lips off. I'm going to take them off now because I'm going to try another tune that's a little bit trickier called the Golden Eagle. It's followed by another tricky tune called the Hawk. And these are a couple of hornpipes. Golden Eagles by Pat McNulty and uh, the Hawk is by the famous James Hill, who I've mentioned before in this show because even though Tyneside Hold him up as one of their heroes of traditional folk music. He was actually a Scot, yes, he was born in Scotland. 
originally he moved down there and of course we knew he was a an, uh, uh, oh, excuse me of course we knew he was a scotchman all the not time for the uh, excuse me excuse me thank you uh it's uh, there's still, still a bit of life left in that turkey uh, yeah, we knew all along he was a Scotsman because he was an alcoholic. Yeah, that was a bit of a giveaway, wasn't it? And he ran a bar. Yeah, <laughs> not a good combination. Uh, and, and was it Bottle gr bottle, Green Bottle Lane or something? I need to check that. Something like that. Yeah, very appropriate. Anyway, James Hill uh, did the, uh, also wrote the new high level hornpipe that I've played on this show before. Uh, tricky key of B flat. But this is not so tricky. This is a G major. And oh, wait a minute. No, it's E major, sorry. Oh, yeah, the Golden Eagle's nice and easy in G major. Right, let's give it a go. Let's get it, let's get it over with. Golden Eagle and the Hawk. <laughs> being massacred in the background and then the tune is being massacred as well so it's a perfect combination anyway we'll leave that one onto the hawk this is the james hill one. Oh dear will you be quiet This extra sound effect all the way through. So, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You leave that poor old turkey alone. Now he's not got any wings. Not got any wings left. Oh my God! Well, at least we will get a couple of chicken wings for tea out of it. <laughs> oh, this is much better than last week where he was just sleeping through the whole show. Oh yes, yeah, the tiger in him has come out. Yeah. Okay, enjoy. Uh, by the way, if, if any of you out there actually enjoy what you're watching, you can see so much more of it this week. Uh, not an extra special show, not uh, on quarantine gigs this time, but on um, Fife Diversity Week on Tuesday at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, British British Sparrow time. Uh, uh, and yes, I did a show for I was asked to do a show for Fife Diversity Week uh, a month ago. And bizarrely, they asked me to do another one uh, this month. So that's very nice of them. If you want to watch just the same kind of thing, out going live on Facebook, just half an hour, probably won't be quite so bizarre as these ones. But um, it will be a little bit bizarre, and hopefully I'll have Toki with me. Well, I can't promise. But if not, we'll have a small stuffed bird instead. You might have noticed, by the way, that all the birds are robins. It's because I had to plunder the Christmas decoration box to, uh, to, to, to find a little bird. That's the only kind of birds I had. Uh, here's, this is a particular sweet one, this little one. Ooh, it's actually made of polystyrene. Brilliant. It's amazing what you can do with polystyrene. It's, it's, it's not only for packing boxes, you know, you can make little tiny robins out of it. 
Uh, what have I got left? I've got tons of tunes I've not done left uh, yet. Um, the the um, what have I not done? Uh, oh, I have done most of them. No, I've not. I've not done a couple. I'll finish with this one maybe, um, which is a tune by my friend Pete Clark, and I've never played this before. I'm just reading it from his book, The Dunkel Bridge Collection. Excuse me, excuse me, we can't let finish the show. Um, if animals could talk, that well, they seem to be able to. Uh, I'll, I'll do a Doctor Doolittle episode, that's a good idea soon. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yes, the uh, Pete Clark's wonderful tune book, The Dunkel Bridge Collection, which is full of tunes he's written and uh, paintings he's drawn, uh, painted as well. He's a great painter and artist. And uh, he's also an expert on fishing and lots of wildlife and things like that. He's a wonderful chap. He lives up in Logie Rate and he's a brilliant fiddle player, of course. So um, if just Google him on the net, Pete Clark, and you'll see all his stuff. Anyway, uh, we've done a lot together over the years. This is a tune we've not done together, <laughs> and I'll try and not kill it. Pete, sorry. I apologise, Vance. It's called The Dipper, though. It's named after a bird, so I thought it'd be appropriate, The Dipper. And uh, let's see if we can get the chords right. <laughs> the B part there, but I'll learn it for another time. <laughs> That's taken us nicely up to the end of the show. Folks, that was The Dipper by Pete Clark. Thank you very much for watching this Ornithologist special. I've got two or three tunes that I didn't play. The Lapwings Jig, Swallow's Tail, Pigeon on the Gate. Who knows, we may do Ornithologist 2.0, the sequel, one day. Anyway, for me, my co-host Toki, and the remains of a small chicken. Ah, ah! We say goodbye, farewell, and happy bird watching. <laughs> wow, that was an incredible show, Toki. You've got so much more energy this week. Is it to do with being fed live fowl on TV? That's probably what it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, ah, ah, oh, we're going to have the, all the animal rights people phoning in for this one. Anyway, would you like a nut? Yes, I know you like nuts. Let, leave that poor chicken alone. Mm. Oh, we better let uh, oh dear, we better let poor Julian, shouldn't we? Uh, I'm gonna try one of these bones. I love these bones.